Welcome to the Toast Driven Diaries. Uh, my name is Amanda. You'll get to know me pretty well uh, on this journey we're going on together. Uh, nothing too fancy to really share other than I am currently living in a little one room casita. And if you don't know what a casita is, it means a little house in Spanish. Um, yeah, so currently living in Las Vegas, working sort of from home, sort of at an office, but the point is, is that I currently don't use my landlord's kitchen. It's really far from where my little casita is. In my opinion, it's really, it's far. Um, so I guess I'm lazy and I just decided that I'm gonna have a toaster oven and a mini fridge be my, be my kitchen for the next little while. Anyway, um, after that little bit, um, <laughs> I'm gonna just walk us through me unloading my groceries and then we're gonna get started on a fun little toaster oven journey. Since this is my cooking mechanism, we're gonna get creative. I love cooking. Uh, before this situation, which is not bad at all, I'm so grateful, um, I have for years really enjoyed uh, cooking, not so much baking, it takes me a lot of effort to bake. But the point is, is that, um, yeah, I've been a little limited in my cooking options, so I decided to do a little online cooking segment with my toaster oven. Hence the toaster oven diaries, so welcome. All right, just to show you guys, I got me some decaf coffee. I do half and half um, because I am very sensitive to caffeine and actually it's a great day that I started to do this because I have way too much caffeine this morning and I have been on a roll. I've been a very chatty Kathy today and it's probably good because I do a lot of talking for my job. So anyway, I got some blueberries on sale at Whole Foods, raspberries, my eggs, which by the way, tonight y'all are in for a treat. I really am excited to try this recipe out. Uh, I found it online. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit based on what I found at the grocery store. And uh, we're gonna be doing a toaster oven shachuka. For those of you who don't know what that is, it is, it is an Israeli dish. Uh, I had it made very authentic by someone I know who is Jewish actually. Um, and oh my gosh, it is seriously delicious. The base is eggs, uh, tomato sauce. Typically you want to put it in a cast iron pan and do, it has a lot of like marinating and cooking to do in there. But like I said, we are limited to a toaster oven. So that's what we're going to work with. Um, I bought some mango cause I love fruit. We're going to be kind of topping this whole dish with some dolmas. If you don't, want, don't know what dolmas are, they are delicious Middle Eastern appetizer thing. Um, it's basically a bunch of herbs, rice, stuffed in a grape leaf with olive oil. It's the bomb. Uh, I usually get almond yogurt because I don't eat a ton of dairy. Um, you know, the thing is... Dairy is good until it hits your gallbladder and your gallbladder bladder freaks out. So I have switched to non-dairy stuff in the last few years pretty heavily. I kind of switch it up between oat milk, almond milk, nut milk, whatever kind of milk that's not dairy. And then to make it kind of fancy, I got some pre-made vegetables from Whole Foods. Again, guys, this is not... I would say this evening's Toast Driven Diaries is not the cheapest meal situation. I am actually getting another refrigerator because the one I currently have is more for cooling beverages. So it's not super cold. So anyway, to get food that is going to accommodate the lack of um, cooling device thing. Anyway, then this was on sale. Super cool, superfood creamer. Um, I guess it's like a powder and it turns into a creamer in your coffee. Should be exciting. To 
typically I don't buy that because it's expensive, but it was like half off, so you know. And then, Arx tomato sauce, which by the way, if you have never tried Rouse, it is so good. It is expensive. Depends on what you think of as expensive, but honestly, it's worth it. It's delicious, and it tastes great right out of the bottle. These were also on sale, so I love buying things when they're on sale. And then, um, because I'm bougie and I love soda water, I got soda water. So that's my grocery unpack for the time being. We're gonna cut segments. I'm gonna put away my groceries and then we'll get to me putting everything in my pan to cook in my toaster oven. Hello! Like I said earlier, we're gonna be doing a Shachuka toaster oven dish. And it's gonna be delish. Oh, hold that thought. I need to get olive oil. One second. All right. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't. I don't really have like, I had a recipe idea. We've got some pre-cooked asparagus, potatoes, red potatoes mind you, uh, Brussels and mushrooms, hello yummy. And we have our eggs and we have our rallies. <laughs> um, I don't know why I just did that, but anyway, I have some olive oil and some red pepper flakes, which actually, I don't even know if I need that because Arabiata sauce is a spicy. So we'll see how spicy it is. We might not need to add that. Anyway, point is, when I looked earlier on this recipe, it said you lay like the vegetables down first. I'm probably gonna lay some of these down. It's gonna be, I'm feeling, I'm just feeling like, I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm feeling hungry, that's what I'm feeling. Um, I'm gonna set my toaster oven to like, I don't know, 30 minutes, and we're gonna like probably do it at about 350. All right, first things first, what I am gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of this sauce down, Ooh. and we're gonna just kinda like layer it, and I'll show you. We don't wanna like put a ton down, we don't wanna flood the market, you know what I mean? And. You know, this is like fancy stuff, you guys. This is, look at that, okay. Cover the pan, get it all smooshed on there. By the way, this is not like Culinary 101. I am not a trained chef. I cook, I used to work for a catering company for like four years. It's primarily a server and a Jill of all trades and whatever the heck they needed me to do. Uh, for the most part, I did get into prep cooking and some cooking and baking, but I just did a lot of at-home stuff, and I grew up cooking. Hey, hello, thanks, mom. Um, we actually grew, and just a little backstory. Um, I, when I was growing up, different places that my family and I lived, um, my mom was always like, "We're gonna learn. You're gonna learn to bake. You're gonna learn to cook. All of the skills that, unfortunately, this next generation seems to have lost along the way. Not everyone, but a lot." Um, Time out, I have to grab a utensil. Okay, back to it. Yes, I'm using a plastic spoon. And yes, they're really cheap at Walmart, so, you know, check it out. Anyway, I'm gonna put some of these vegetables on the bottom because I love vegetables. And I probably should eat more of them because, I don't know about you guys, but this whole quarantine situation has like not been kind to my waistline. I don't know what it is. It's like I sit at my computer all day and then I and then I lay in bed. I have been walking and I've been occasionally like running, which last week that was hilarious trying to run. You know, we're gonna just do all of those. Hello. Mama's hungry. <laughs> we'll do all those. Okay. So we have heating up our toaster oven. We're gonna No, I'm not gonna save that. Trash. Okay, next. This is a little dicey, you guys, because I have never done this. Literally, I'm a little freaked out. I'm hoping that this works, that our eggs will cook. I'm thinking like three eggs. 
shouldn't be this difficult, right? Okay, there we go. These were also on sale. Can I just say, Whole Foods was like a giant sale today and I'm gonna like, uh, put it down a little bit. Um, cracker eggs. Crumbles. Um, I'm gonna just ignore the fact that I got a shell in there. This is not fancy, you guys. This is like totally, <laughs> totally beginner status. Okay, that one and one in the corner. And then we're gonna just see where this one ends up. Cause you know, it's all about, oh, fun. Okay. So there's that, you know, I'm gonna do a little fish, fish, wash, wash. Good, good. Okay, now we're gonna just put this this delicious montage in our oven. I mean, our toaster oven. <laughs> Let's call it what it is, shall we, people? Um, I'm gonna throw these shells away. And then we're gonna wait until those eggs cook. So just to give you, what the heck did I use this for? Oh. For the vegetables. <laughs> I haven't eaten too much today, just for your FYI. We're gonna put our other vegetables back. We'll save some rows and actually, once, here's what I'm thinking. This is all a journey. We're experimenting together, people. Um, and please ignore, please, please don't pay any attention to that awful buzzing sound my toaster oven's making. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine, but dozen on occasion. It was a Walmart special, so you're welcome, Walmart. Um, I might even turn the volume up a little bit on this, the temp. Um, we might put a little bit of the rouse on top once the eggs cook a little bit better. Oh, you know what? Something I, there goes my spoon. Something I forgot. We're going to need to salt a little bit. Salt is key, people. Salt is key. And ouch, that's hot. Of course. Anyway, so I'm just gonna salt these a little bit. A little salt, salt. Good. Actually, we are gonna crank that up just a little bit because. The eggs are cooking really fast. And we don't want to like burn them, you know, but there's plenty of liquid on the bottom to keep them happy, happy. All right, we'll be back in three, two. All right, so we added the um, dolmos on top. And can we just talk about how delicious that is? Something y'all should know about me, I, I stand up and eat a lot. No shame. It's kind of a family habit. Thoughts on this? I am gonna say that I am totally freaking impressed with with how this turned out. I'm insanely shocked. I mean I'm surprised, really. Mm. Wow, still so freaking good. I don't know if any of you remember Emerald and like Yan Can Cook way back in the day. Um, and like the original Iron Chef. But all those cooking shows were like, people were in the audience and they got to eat what they made. Or I guess not everybody did, but. The point is, is that I just think it's so unfair for all of you watching me eat this right now, so I'm sorry. So you're gonna have to go home and make it in your own toaster oven. And with that being said, I'm gonna sign off and say thank you for joining me on the first episode of the Toaster Oven Diaries. And with that, I say goodnight.